Occasionally, you might find it quicker to copy an existing record than to set up a new one from scratch. For example, you might sell a product in a number of different colours or sizes, so rather than set up a full record for each item, you can set up one and then duplicate it and make minor amends only. To demonstrate how the duplicate option works in Sage Accounts, if I pop into Products, and I'm going to select this shorthand notebook 80 sheets product record. So what I'm going to do, supposing I'm going to start selling the same similar sort of notebooks but with 100 sheets, rather than set up uh, a brand new record from scratch, I can just highlight this record and then click duplicate and then I'm presented with a new record with the details of the original record that I've selected. So I'm just going to type in a new uh, account reference. So this time I'll choose uh, books 004. And we can still, it could be a stock item. I can then amend the description to whatever I want that to be. And that, because it brings up the original description as well, it means I've got a bit of consistency in what I've actually called it as well. So I'll just finish amending that one. The categories are the same, the location, etc. It's picked up the default nominal codes, purchase nominal accounts, etc. Part number, I could change that if I wanted to. Just change it, put a D on the end instead. And I could also amend the price as well, so the sales price. So I'll just I'll just change that to five pounds. And then if I'm quite happy with that, I can then just save that. So if I then just close out of that product record. And now you'll see I've got two very similar records, just slightly different uh, descriptions where I've just made minor amends. So as you can see it's much quicker than creating a brand new record, entering the full description and all of the other settings. Similarly, if someone wants to place a repeat order, we can go to uh, invoicing and we'll just say in this example that Fred Bryant has contacted us and would like uh, us to send uh, exactly the same goods uh, as was on invoice number 82. So we can just highlight invoice 82 on the list, click duplicate, and I'll just move that to the middle, and this basically creates a duplicate invoice, and I could if I wanted to just save it, I could print it, etc. One thing to be aware of though is when using the duplicate option in this way is that the invoice is a duplicate of the original one. So for example if your sales prices have changed this is not reflected on the invoice itself. To get around this all you would need to do is reselect the customer account. So I will just click the drop down, select Fred Bryant again, click OK and it now has to confirm do you want to recalculate all prices for this customer. So if I click yes to that and you'll see it updates the actual sales price of the actual product itself and I can then just make any other amendments and if I'm quite happy with that I can then just save it. If you do want more information on the duplicate record option then if you refer to Ask Sage article 11825